The film begins at an underground fighting circus. Carter Ford, Post Malone, dominates the ring, and a bar owner named Frankie, Jessica Williams, keeps an eye on him. After Carter defeats his opponent, another fighter, Elwood Dalton, Jake Gyllenhaal, enters the ring. Carter notices him and refuses to fight, meaning Dalton gets his money without fighting. Outside, a man who lost $500 in the fight stabs Dalton, but the man runs away when he sees that Dalton is barely shaken. While Dalton is tending to his wounds, Frankie comes in and tells him that she actually owns a roadhouse bar called the Roadhouse in the Florida community of Glass Key. She offers Dalton a job as a bouncer. He is initially reluctant, but eventually accepts, as he has no other options in life. Dalton arrives at Glass Key. He meets teenage bookseller Charlie, Hannah Lanier, and her father Stephen, Kevin Carroll. They give Dalton some free books and show him to the roadhouse. He arrives and meets employees Billy, Lucas Gage, and Laura, B.K. Cannon, before they start work. At night, Dalton watches as Billy and the other male employees have to deal with some violent people. Soon, a biker gang led by Del, J.D. Pardo, arrives and begins torturing the staff and guests. Dalton tries to talk to Del calmly, but Del only provokes him. He goes outside and rides on the gang's motorcycle to lure them out, before threatening Del. He beats Dalton and threatens to kill all the bikers until he passes out. Dalton then takes the gang to the hospital himself. On his way out, he is reprimanded by a doctor named Deli, Daniela Melchior, for putting them there before more suitable patients. After he charms her, she tends to his wounds. Dalton sleeps on a boat on the lake, but Frankie warns him that a crocodile lives nearby. As he sleeps, Dalton dreams of his final round as a UFC fighter. Dell and his men arrive at the yacht of Ben Brandt. Billy Magnuson, the crime boss for whom they work. They explain to him about Dalton and how he has ruined them, and Brandt orders them to eliminate him by any means necessary, seeing him as a threat to business in the city. Dalton soon realizes that the locals quickly know who he is and that the other thugs back off when they see him. He teaches Billy and the other boys how to deal with aggressive customers. Dalton points out a man who was hiding a knife and disarms him before chasing him away. As Dalton was returning home after a night's work, Dell and his goons tried to run him over with Dell's girlfriend's truck. They managed to push Dalton off a bridge, but he survived. When he gets home, Dell is waiting for him with a gun. Dalton fights him again and throws him into the water. Dalton tries to save Dell, but the crocodile eats him first. Later, Dalton hears from Charlie about some shady business going on in town. After he leaves the bookstore, two of Brandt's men try to take Dalton out, but Dalton breaks the man's fingers when he threatens him with a gun. Brandt knows that Dalton won't be so easy to take down, and so does his incarcerated criminal father, Gerald. Gerald contacts Knox, Connor McGregor, the toughest and meanest thug. To go to Glass Key and look after Dalton. This comes after Knox had an affair with a married woman, stripped naked in the streets of Italy, attacked a man for his jacket, and set a shop on fire. Knox visits Brandt's house to let him know that his father has hired him, but neither Brandt nor the rest of his criminal associates are particularly happy about it. Dalton arranges to meet Ellie, and she goes out to sea on her ex-girlfriend's boat. She tells Dalton that she knows about his past, which he tries to hide from everyone. He tries to leave Ellie, but she makes him stay and they kiss. Dalton is then found by Sheriff Big Dick, Joaquin de Almeida, and his corrupt officers. The sheriff threatens Dalton, ordering him to leave town, but Dalton refuses. The police then begin their attack on Dalton. Dick prepares for his execution, but Ali drives up in a car and slaps him. She takes Dalton in and tells him that Dick is her father. He is also in cahoots with Brand. Ellie then tells Dalton in good faith that he needs to leave town. That night, Brand appears at the roadhouse and approaches Dalton. He begins to tease him about his past in the UFC, but it turns out Dalton was kicked out for killing an opponent in the ring, even though he stopped the fight, and it's been bothering Dalton ever since. 
After Brat leaves, Knox comes in and causes trouble, he punches Billy and the other boys, and Dalton has to step in. Knox proves to be a challenge for Dalton, but Knox is surprised when Dalton gets up after being punched. Ellie arrives on the scene to provide medical aid. As Dalton was leaving town, he saw the bookstore on fire. Brant's men Sam, Darren Barnett, and Vince, Bonap, started the fire. Dalton learns that Charlie and Stephen are hospitalized but still alive. He finds Vince and threatens him with a gun until Dalton punches him in the throat, crushing his trachea and eventually choking him. While disposing of the bodies, Dalton encounters Mo, Arturo Castro, the least corrupt of Dell's gang members. He tells Dalton about a meeting that Brant and his men are planning to hold early the next morning. Dalton goes to see and finds one of Dick's corrupt deputies bringing a big suitcase full of money onto his boat. He knocks out the deputy and puts Vince's body there, framing him for the death. The sheriff finds Dalton and informs him that Brant has kidnapped Ellie. Dalton makes it to Brant's yacht and sees Dick there with him, learning that Dick intentionally lured him onto the boat. However, Brant admits that he really did kidnap Ellie. Dalton confuses everyone by blowing up the arriving boat, Ellie's old boat, before the thugs attack. The yacht then starts to sink and Dalton punches the thugs before he finds Ellie. She crashes through a window and comes out with Dalton. Knox appears in a skiff and tries to get Dalton out, while Brant grabs Ellie and puts her on a motorboat. Dalton gets on the motorboat, but Knox falls into the sea. Dalton fights Brant, crashing his motorboat in front of the roadhouse and throwing Brant onto the roof. Meanwhile, Knox climbs out of the water, steals a truck, and drives into the roadhouse. When Brant demands that Knox finally kill Dalton, Knox, fed up with Brant's attitude, breaks his neck. Dalton and Knox then go on to a second round, where Knox again proves to be a beast, until Dalton gains the upper hand and incapacitates Knox by stabbing him with a splinter of wood until he falls to the ground. Frankie, Billy, Lola and the others try to clean up the destroyed roadhouse while keeping it up and running. Just as Dalton is getting ready to leave, he stops by the bookstore again and finds Charlie and Stephen there. He says goodbye to them and leaves them with the bag of money he received from the deputy. Dalton then hops on a bus to head off to his next destination. During the credits, we learn that Knox survived the fight. He punches all the doctors and leaves the hospital wearing only a surgical gown. Before leaving subscribe the channel, and like the video.